Kay Kleist tells us about the storms we have to look forward to ahead. Mary Kay? We are tracking a cold front, and it's going to be passing through close to daybreak, and that is going to cut off the humidity and really cool us down. But for right now, it's very muggy and mild out there. We have a 77 degree temperature from Barb in Lake Forest. She has a cloudy sky, but gives us a really cool view right before the sun was setting as the clouds were lowering with that dark sky taking place. And, and that kind of was the case. So very cool cloud formations for us later today and heading into the evening. David Sprout, 75 degrees right now, capturing sunset right along the Kankakee River there. Well, even though temperatures are warm, dew point temperatures are so impressive. We have dew point readings now at 73 in Joliet, McHenry, 72 in DeKalb. This is significant because this is tropical air lifting to the north all the way from the Gulf of Mexico. Here's the cold front. So this warm, humid air is meeting the cooler, drier air, and that's what's going to spark that shower and thunderstorm activity. The best chance for that is going to come after midnight for us, but we can see that we have some severe thunderstorm warnings here with these yellow areas. We have a flash flood watch for parts of Michigan, but closer to home, we're getting our own little batch of some thunderstorm activity. Our lightning detection network is showing that we have thunderstorms over Crystal Lake, Algonquin, Lake Zurich. All of this is drifting to the north and east, moving closer to Waukegan, even for the North Shore as well. So we do have the severe outlook tonight for marginal risk of severe weather, meaning that the heaviest storms would contain damaging winds and possibly some large hail. So thunderstorms will accompany this front as it tracks through. And then I think early in the morning, if you have a super early morning commute, you may be left over with a scattered shower in the morning. So let's time it out for you. On Futurecast, as we go to 3 a.m., here comes that squall line. And then as we get closer to 5 and 6 a.m., that's going to be the height of it. And then it all slides to the east. This is 930 in the morning, still a cloud deck hanging over us. But all of that pushes out of the picture. And then we have less humid air and a high temperature of only 80 degrees. Look at Saturday, dry and cool with a high of 72. A couple of showers maybe on Saturday with 73 degrees. So the thunder may wake you up toward morning. All right, duly noted. Thank you, MK.